Come to me, Novena, Daily Prayer 1. Lord Jesus Christ, by your patience in suffering, you hallowed earthly pain and gave us the example of obedience to your Father's will. Be near me in my time of weakness and pain. Sustain me by your grace, that my strength and courage may not fail. Heal me according to your will, and help me always to believe that what happens to me here is of little account if you hold me in eternal life, my Lord and my God. Amen. Daily Prayer 2 Lord, look upon me with eyes of mercy. May your healing hand rest upon me. May your life-giving powers flow into every cell of my body and into the depths of my soul, cleansing, purifying, restoring me to wholeness and strengthen for service in your kingdom. Amen. Daily Prayer 3 Lord, please heal my broken heart. Fill me with the peace and joy I know can only come from you during this hard time. Walk closely beside me during my journey to healing and recovery that I know is possible through your power alone. In Jesus' name. Come to me, Novena, Day 2. Christ speaks. Welcome, my child. I knew you would come. I have so much to offer you. I have so many gifts in store for you and for those you love. I have the power, the love that makes every dream come true. Dreams that bring love and peace and healing to a broken world. Why, my child, should millions go unhealed and die in needless pain? When these hands that touched a leper's skin and made it clean lie here, silent or unused, how I long that my people would come to me and just sit before me. There is so much anger out there in the world, so much injustice, so much suffering, and there is one power, one person who can heal you and restore to the world whatever is stolen by Satan. That power is right here. Day 2 Reflection God's power is always available. By coming and remaining before the Eucharist, I am tapping this power. This power, the power of God, is available to us in every event of our life. God said to Joshua, I will always be with you. I will never abandon you. Scripture reference, Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. The psalmist sang, God will protect me from all dangers and keep me safe. He will protect me as I come in and go out. Scripture reference, Psalms chapter 121, verse 7 to 8. Paul wrote, May the Lord who is our source of peace grant us peace at all times. Scripture reference, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Paul encouraged the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 to 9. God is able to give you more than you need. Repeat these scripture verses and let them sink into you. Claim each promise for your specific need. Day 2 Prayer Lord Jesus, your coming has changed the course of history. I know that you are the light that will never fade. No darkness, no tragedy can put off the darkness. Jesus, your love will prevail. That love which will overcome hatred, bitterness, and strife. High walls cannot stop you, Lord. Weapons of war cannot stop the spread of your peace. Right here, there is power. Power that can bring healing and peace into our lives. Power that can set us free from all negativity. Lord, I am asking you for peace. Yet I realize that in my blindness, I am denying others the gift of peace that I seek from you. How can I expect to see your victorious right hand uphold me? Scripture reference, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. 
When I have closed my heart and my hands to my brother, Lord, I have been deaf to your call to repentance. I have been blind to my own acts of selfishness. Forgive me, Lord. I have failed you. Teach me to be the person you want me to be. Amen. Pray the Our Father prayer seven times. Holy Spirit, for every ray of sunshine I see today, heal me of my coldness and darkness of heart. Fill me with your warmth and your light.